Um, I would just like to say that I am terrified that even you, someone who's obviously educated, has given up hope completely. Like, when, when you call upon us, you say white folk, you say black people, Jewish people. Why can't we come together? We obviously can come together. We just have to, we just have to find a way to do it. The desire is good, but the reality is the total opposite of your desire. And unfortunately, as a young lady, you are not in the position of power to make the decisions to make America work. May I, you know, as, as an audience of intelligent people, I would like to just take a moment to say to you that I really don't think you fully understand what has happened to these people that you look at as second class or inferior citizens in this nation. Black people who were brought to this country were stripped of their names, language, culture, religion, God, and taken totally away from the history of themselves. Here are 30 million people who don't wear their own names, they wear your names. Who don't speak their own language, they speak English, which is not their language. They never, never were allowed their own cultural expression of Africa. Don't you realize that when you turn a people upside down and inside out, then sell them, not for a day, not for a year, but for 300 years and deny us the human right to know, to read a book, to learn, to understand. And then, after 100, uh, 300 years of that, you allow us into the church, but by that time, you've painted Jesus white, God white, the angels white, and then all these black people have been subjected to a form of white supremacy which produces in the reverse a black inferiority. And this is fulfilling what Jesus said, as a man thinketh, so is he, and as long as our people think the way they think, we will never be able to do what we as a people should do to correct our condition. Excuse me, I was brought up in, quote, Bedford Stevenson in my time. But I would like to say what scares us is I think we hear violence. May I respond? Yeah. May I respond, please? My work is directly to black people. I spend 99% of my time dealing with us to help us reform our minds and spirit that we may do for ourselves. However, when you live in a society like this, and we know that in order to affect a solution to a problem between black and white, then there's going to have to be some meaningful dialogue between black and white in order to affect a solution. The young lady said she's afraid of violence. And isn't it sad that we who have been the victims of so much violence, now whites fear violence from us, we do not have a history of killing white people. White people have a history of killing us. See, and what, and what you fear, may I say this, sir? What you fear, and it's a deep guilt thing, that white folks suffer, you are afraid that if we ever come to power, we will do to you and your fathers what you and your people have done to us. And I think you are judging us by the state of your own mind, and that is not necessarily the mind of black people.